you're looking to organize your garage and get the most out of your space, then the 2x4 Basics Workbench plus Shelf Links Kit is just for you. This customizable kit only requires straight cuts, making it a super easy DIY build. We're going to show you today just how quick and easy it is to whip your garage into shape. So the Workbench plus Shelf Links Kit comes with four workbench legs, six shelf links brackets, two bags of screws, and all the instructions you need to get this done. Tools you'll need today are a circular saw, a drill with a number two Phillips bit, a tape measure, a pencil, and safety glasses. Before we get started, you wanna take a good look at the instructions to get a good idea of the steps we'll be taking today. So first, you'll wanna measure your space. And this workbench kit can be built any size up to four feet wide by eight feet long. We're going to measure our space today. And we've got enough space for eight feet. And in order to fit our vehicles in here, we're going to just do 33 inches on this one. So once you measure your space and figure out the size of workbench you want, you want to refer back to the instructions to determine the exact amount of lumber you're going to need. And if you don't have a circular saw, a lot of times your lumber store will cut the wood for you. So the next cut we're going to make is going to be the width boards. And we're going to subtract three inches from that size to accommodate for your outside length two by fours. And we'll show you a little bit more about that here in just a minute. So the first thing we're going to do is attach one of our length pieces to one of the legs. And the easiest way to do that is to use a spare piece of lumber to help level that out. And each leg is pre-drilled for you so you know exactly where to put the screws. So we've got our first side in here. We're going to grab another leg and we're going to get that installed on the other side. Once you get the first level in, you want to go ahead and build out this one side of the workbench and you can have up to three layers. For this bench, we're gonna do the three levels. Each level is rated at 1,000 pounds. And for you, if you only want two levels, you can do that. So customize this bench however you'd like it. All right, so that's one side. We're gonna repeat this step for the other two legs to create the other side of the workbench. So the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is put our width pieces on. You're gonna work your width pieces in and we're gonna do that all the way up on all layers, both sides. So like I said earlier, your width pieces need to be three inches shorter and that's to accommodate for your standard two by four, which is an inch and a half wide. So we just got our sides in. We've got our two length pieces built and tied into the legs and we've got our with pieces tied in. Now it's time to put our shelves in. And you want to start from the bottom and work your way up. All right, so we got those two. Now we're going to put our other side on, get those supported. Once you get that standing pretty close, you want to get your screws. Go ahead and fasten everything tight. So before you put your top piece on, you're going to want to measure for this cross beam that gives you that full support, the full length of your workbench. And in this case, for our eight foot bench, we're gonna be at just over 96 and a half inches. So we have our cross beam cut, and you can see that that just rests right there in the middle like that, the full length, give you that good support. So once this piece, this cross piece is in, you can go ahead and put your top piece of the workbench on. Slide right in there. So 
So with the shelf links, you can measure your space, you can set this up and configure it however you'd like. For us, we're going to attach it from one end to the other and we're going to create two shelves right here. We're going to go ahead and measure for our height of our shelves. And for this particular workbench, we're wanting to go 48 inches. That's going to give us our top shelf up there. And then we're going to do a little bit lower shelf here. And we'll show you how that is. So we're going to put a shelf at 36 inches and then a shelf at the very top, 48. So let's measure and mark that. We're going to mark that on both boards. And that's going to be our placement for this shelf. The one that we have on the bench is this way. The ones going vertical need to be upright like this. So we'll position that. We're going to put the top of our shelf on that mark. Do that for both of them. Go ahead and secure that one. Now we can slide our other board in there to that same line. We're going to try to make sure that's square. And then our top shelf will be flush at the very top of this. Your shelf link is going to set flush, flush to the workbench. And then you're just going to insert the height of your shelf, that board, right in there. And that becomes your base. Okay? So let's go ahead and assemble that. Okay? Once you get your two sides built, we're going to go ahead and work on our shelving. And you're going to need eight boards to make these shelves. Each layer has four two by fours. So six of those two by fours are going to be the full width of your bench. Four across the top are going to be the full width. And as you can see here, the reason the other four are not the full width is because only two will go the full distance through. The outside two by fours on this lower shelf will have to be cut six and seven sixteenths inch shorter to accommodate for this two by four going through. Let's assemble that. I'm gonna take our shorter board, get our distance down here, take a longer board, fit that through here. Another long board. Finish it with the short. You can see each of these brackets has holes to line up your boards, and you're just gonna to wanna to get one of them in each of these boards, okay? Space these out as evenly as possible, and then start securing. All right, so first shelf is all secure. We're gonna get that top shelf on. Just place four of these across there, and we're gonna evenly space them. There we go. So once you get them on, we're gonna go ahead and secure them. You got the pre-drilled holes. Just make sure you put a screw in each one. So once your legs are secure in here, you want to make sure you put in these side screws as well. All right, we've got our shelves built and we're ready to mount this to the top of the workbench. All right, so once you get the shelves in place, you're going to want to go ahead and secure that base to the top of the workbench. And that's it. We've completed our workbench plus shelf links kit. And as you can see, we've turned this cluttered garage into a nice, organized, functional workspace. Make sure you check out our other projects on 2x4basics.com and how to build them on our 2x4basics YouTube channel. And remember, we build it to last, you make it any size. Yeah.